The illegality doctrine, also known as the doctrine of unclean hands, is the principle that a party who enters into a contract that violates the law isn't entitled to relief for breach of that contract. Sinar v. Leroy illustrates this principle through the tale of a much-desired beer license. John Sinar owned a grocery store in Seattle. When the Washington State Liquor Control Board denied his application for a license to sell beer, Sinar complained to his friend, Harry Leroy. Leroy told Sinar that he knew a man in the city office who might be able to help get the license. Leroy approached this man, Mr. Lewis, and reported back to Sinar that a license would cost him $450. Sinar gave the money to Leroy, asking him to get the license or bring the money back. He warned Leroy to be careful whom he gave the money to. Leroy gave the money to Mr. Lewis, but Sinar didn't get a beer license. Sinar sued Leroy to recover the $450. He argued that he'd delivered the money to Leroy, expecting that Leroy would either get him a beer license or bring the money back. The trial court found for Sinar. Leroy appealed to the Washington Supreme Court, arguing that the transaction was illegal and the agreement was therefore unenforceable. Sinar countered that Leroy couldn't raise the defense of illegality on appeal because he hadn't pleaded it at trial. 